the end phase installation. What we got here is a shipment of Shoyten 230? 230? No, actually, he said 225. Okay, 225. I think they're 230, but we'll figure that out later. $10,000 bet. That's on me. <laughs> 230 watt panels. Um, we've got the end phase. We're just actually sorting out our stuff. These are the actual end phase inverters. Each panel will have its own end phase inverter, and we'll um, we'll uh, we'll change the DC right from the panel level to AC. 120 volt AC limits the um, uh, increases the efficiency. These are our standoffs to mount the rails. Anyway. This is just us cataloging all of our stuff and flashing, etc. Anyway, we'll have more for you in a minute. Okay, so kind of laying it out now. These are the Iron Ridge rails with the end phase system. Um, you can see these rails are slotted. They've got a slot in the middle. This allows you to drop uh, bolts down and boom, attach your, your inverters right onto the rail. These are the standoffs. These just attach, these feet just attach to the standoff at the top, as I showed earlier. The, um, and then they attach to the rail by dropping the uh, washer bolt combo. Uh, one of these babies, you just drop them in the rail, slide it down, and then attach it right there. So this is um, showing the standoffs jacked up. Gives you an idea of how high they go. Better angle. And this is one that's just sitting flat next to it, and then this one is jacked up using the highest uh, uh, level on the uh, slotted um, L foot. So you can obviously move these up and down. Um, I think uh, in general I'm going to keep mine on the higher end. So we just slap that line. That's good. That looks good. See? It's sitting there. Again. So here you go, we've got the standoffs mounted. We've got a total of six standoffs. And at this point, we've got the L feet that are attached to each standoff. All we have to do now is fasten the rails to those L feet with the bolts and washers. And uh, and then we're going to attach those inverters using uh, the weave clips. We're going to have one splice. We're going to have a 12 foot and a 18 foot rail on each on each parallel line. Make 30 foot rail. So we're going to have a splice. Okay, this is the Iron Ridge rail system. They include so if you're going to extend your rail size, these are 18 foot rails. And I have a 14 foot rail, so I want to um, extend this to 32 feet. So they include these splice pieces. They just slide in here. And then we use these self tapping screws to attach them. So simply. Pop them in. That's one. And two. And then we're going to do the other side, or the other side of the rail, and attach that. Once you've done that, you've got this bonding clip. You'll see how this just 
slides on. The only thing I think we need to do is put a weave clip. So we create, we pierce this anodized aluminum. So we're going to put the weave clip pointing downward right underneath this and then drop this on and oops. and then you're going to attach the other side I'm trying to slide this in there we go and you're going to attach this to the rail that's the new rail that's coming in Okay, now we're going to attach the end phase inverters to the rail. So what we've done so far is obviously we've attached the standoffs to the roof, rafters. And then these L feet, you can see the L feet attached to the to the standoff. And then we've just bolted, they just bolt right into the rail system. We've done that all the way down. And now we're on this rail, we've done the same thing except we're adding the end phase inverters. And these just simply bolt down. You just slide your bolt down into the channel and throw your washer and lock washer and uh, nut and tighten it down all the way down the rail and lastly uh, we're dropping in this is the end phase branch cable and uh, give you an idea how we set these up we're, we're we carefully calculated the distance here so that if we can see that when we turn this around it'll it'll go into its plug Oops. and you'll notice how it's uh, we've removed the slack so that it can't droop and rub against the roof you want to keep your wires um, off the roof and that's what we've done so we've just spaced these down the same exact way working that all the way to the end of that rail once we've done that, the last step is attach, well, not the last step, but the next step would be to drop in all the panels. We're going to drop in all the panels. They'll, they'll attach onto the rails with the, rail cl with the um, end clamps and mid clamps. And then, back of each panel, you're going to have your DC coming in, your positive, negative, and that'll just uh, attach to the MC4 connectors off the panel. And then, as I showed you, this inverter is going to change that DC into AC, the 240 volt AC, right here at the panel level. And then they'll all plug in to the branch circuit cable, or the trunk cable. And then that will feed in, ultimately, into our main panel. We've uh, run a continuous copper ground. So what we've done is... We started down here at these lugs, and these lugs, I haven't tightened them down yet because they've got weave clips, which uh, basically pierce this anodized aluminum and forms a bond. So that way, same on that side. 
so that way any lightning strike um, would uh, would allow it to ground the rails and then rail to rail and you'll see it runs through each end phase this is number six solid copper ground um, solid uh, copper wire I prefer the solid because it's uh, doesn't droop and allows it to uh, sit up higher all right look at that Right. So we're just dropping down the panels. And these connect. Can you look at that? That Wiley clip is still under that, right? Yeah, the Wiley clip's the, under there. The, the two dots. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yeah. It's making contact. These are mid claps, and they just screw down. Yeah. Let me just see. I can see it from here. Okay. You can good. see it from there. All right. Okay. Something we've learned is you use these lines on the panels to line up your panels down the string. YouTube. This is uh, the final completed installation of my end phase. Actually, those three panels you're looking at there, those are my old Kia Cera 135s. They're still in action. Uh, I got those uh, off-grid. Okay, so also you'll see where uh, I've left uh, room for about, I think I can get four more panels on uh, this rack. Um, I also, because this stuff has to be continuously grounded on uh, number six copper, I, uh, I pulled out some extra um, copper ground wire. In fact, I'll show this to you. you. See, I've just got it coiled up on the side here. And this will be for later. Um, so when I add those extra panels, I can just uh, bolt them down. You see the channel there? This is where you slide your bolt in and you, uh, and then you just bolt down these panels, just like that, with the end clamp. There's my junction box. Everything ties into, comes out 240 AC. Uh, goes straight down. That conduit kind of rope goes straight down to my main panel. Okay, so here is the conduit run. You can see it. Uh, that's that metal conduit there. That comes from the solar um, panels up on the roof from that uh, junction box. It comes down here. I have it directed into the garage. It runs inside the garage um, on the other side of this wall all the way in. And it terminates right here into my main panel. Um, open this up. And there you go. See, that's a 20 amp uh, double pull. Uh, simply pull this plate off. We snap that in. This just snaps right in. Uh, you feed your your black and your red, your two hots, into this. And you take your white neutral and your green ground that comes off the roof in that conduit. And then there's a um, bus bar in here. It terminates there. And then uh, you flip them on. And you can use this also as a disconnect. You don't need a separate disconnect. This is your This is your disconnect right there. Okay, so here just following my conduit run and again inside that you've got your um your uh household uh um wiring your two uh hots your black and red and then your white and uh your green and uh that and also have the uh, number six copper ground that also runs through this so this comes from from the other side of the house goes through here comes up there and it terminates right through there and on the other side of that is my main panel.